How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today we have this one, the Edison Motors L750. TWM Modding brings us this one. And this one actually comes with uh, another truck, the L500. The L500 is a dual rear axle and the L750 is a tri-axle. So we're going to go with the, with the big boy today. We're going to give that one a shot. Uh, he says something about like this is like a potential like actual production truck but I think kind of like his modeling but supposedly somebody's gonna be doing something along the lines that are in the description of the vehicle seems kind of interesting actually but let's see what we can do to this thing all right for engines we have the snow runner tuned electric motors and we have the full power electric motors which is OP now, I guess there are certain things that you can and can't do. I, I'm not exactly sure. But I guess it's more of like the game's limitations and stuff like that. So we'll try the, the full power. And for the gearbox, you have uh, the SnowRunner Friendly or the Electric Simulated. So I think I'm going to go with the SnowRunner one first. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that one first. And then if, I don't know, I'll, I'll try the other one if something doesn't work right. Suspension, you got stock or raised. That gives the truck a little, little bit of a lift there. Sure. Tires, well, he's got a nice little selection of tires too. So let's go with the 47 inch TWM Extreme Terra Combos. Sure. He does have stats, which is kind of nice. But he does have some tires here that have like traction bars on it. So your your mud points do go up with these. But we'll 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 try just the regular tires for now. And if I don't like them, I can always switch them. Winch, you got the extended electric oil field winch. Or just a high powered electric winch. I'm not sure if these are offline or not, but we'll go with the extended. Just to give a little little length on her. Snorkel, you got the, the TCM raised, or just the under hood. We'll go with the raised one, sure. Frame add-ons. It kind of looks like mostly normal stuff. Nothing too extravagant, yeah. We'll just throw the flat bed on for now. Keep it simple. Visuals, we got rooftop. We got the beacons. Get the beacons, but no light. You know, you got your antennas and cab lights and all that that are already on it. You got train horns up there. You got headache racks. You got a prototype. You got the oil field winch trunk, which winch truck loadout. Goodness. It actually looks pretty cool. But we'll we'll leave it the way that it is. Front bumper, you got the OEM or the TCM. Just a little change, not much. It gets rid of the uh, like the mud flaps on the front and stuff. I'll actually do that, sure. Fenders, I mean, you can take all your fenders and mud flaps off, stuff like that. I'll leave those on. Aesthetic lights, you got orange or white. I'll leave that alone too. Exhaust, the one is all you get. Hood panels, you can take the hood panels off the side. I, if you really want to. I think I'll leave them on. Colors. We got quite a few colors to choose from. It's pretty cool. I'll, I'll leave it like the white and the black. That's That comes with it. No interior, exterior customization. Let's go see how this thing does. I'm, I'm curious. It is quite a big truck, so we'll see how it does. Yeah, I mean, it's not... It's not small. Doesn't look too bad. Take a look on the inside here. Not too often you see a a truck with the uh, the like the middle like in the middle of the cab instead of being off to like one side. It's a little different. Well, there's gonna be no noise because technically it's electric, so no no motor noise. I mean, you do get some motor noise. No engine 
noises. And it'll pull all your big boy trailers and your regular trailers too. We'll probably do that later though. Let's go see how it does on its own first. Everything seems to be functioning with the transmission I chose. It is, it is different driving one of these without having a big old, big old diesel or some sort of engine noise. You just kind of have like motor whine. <laughs> but all-wheel drive and diff lock are on all the time, which I love to see that. And it went right through that. It it didn't have no fucking issue at all. Not a care in the world. We're rocking six gear. We'll see how long we can hold on to the six gear. Right away, not much of an issue for this thing. We'll see as we progress here. Get into some deeper water. Still holding on the six gear. We're churning the shit out of the mud though. I think six gear is a little a little much, but it is it does not want to drop out of six gear. Yeah, it's just plowing through here. Still have not dropped out of six gear. Some of the down trees. Let's see how we how it does over this here. Nope. Oh! Oh, it stopped us for like just a, a millisecond, <laughs> but we still haven't dropped out of six. It got stopped again. This thing refuses to drop gear. My goodness. Here comes the deep spot. Again. This thing is an animal. It refuses to drop. This thing's doing really good through here. I do like how he kind of went for like a old school looking cab. I, I do kind of like that. It makes it look like an old truck. But technically it's not, I guess. Let's see what high gear is like. Oh, no, high gear is... High gear is nothing. Comes the river. Not an issue in the river. Slow down a little bit, but that's to be expected. Oh, I did that really well, actually. Let's go do some other stuff. Yeehaw. Let's go see how it does some of this stuff down here once. If it'll even... If it'll even do it. Otherwise, I'm just going to get hung up. Oh, we had enough momentum. <laughs> Let's see if we can get up this or not. Oh. I mean, this isn't what this truck is made for. But it is kind of fun to see if it'll do it or not. Some trucks will and some trucks won't, but... We don't have the best approach angle on this truck. But maybe we can get her to... to inch up there. Oh. Come on. All right, yeah. Let's just go straight to towing. All right, so I went and grabbed some logs. I wanted to do kind of a more like realistic, like in-game test instead of uh, towing the, the low boy with the truck. And I want to do something that maybe somebody would actually like do like in the game. So let's go see how this this thing does. It doesn't really seem like it it really cares that the logs are there. I mean, it is just a little just a little slower. But we'll see how it does through the little trail here. Let's see if it does the hill okay.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a... Not much of an issue. Still in sixth gear. Wow. Not a care in the world. It didn't even come out of sixth gear. Holy crap, this thing makes a lot more power than what I thought. Wow. That was actually really, really good. Over the little whoops there. Still in sixth gear. Let's see how it does the downhill. Let's see if we bury the front end at all. Oh, just a little bit there. Usually that one will get you. What about this one? Oh, no, oh, okay. Yeah, not doing too bad. Up over this little area. God, this thing refuses to drop gear, even tow and weight. Wow. Really cool. This thing's all right. All right, let's take this corner a little wide here. What do you think? You think it's going to go up? I honestly don't know. The tires are really good. Uh-oh. Oh, I was really hoping it was going to go up. Oh. Oh, it wants to really bad. Oh, there we go. There we go. Keep going. Because backing up is a pain in the ass. Go. Oh. Come on, keep pulling. Yeah, there you go. Find the traction. Yeah. Wow, that's... That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go back down here. I don't really want to do this because I don't want to lose the load. But, fuck it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And I think the truck is just long enough where it's actually pretty stable. That was really good. Wow, I actually didn't lose it. I actually like this thing. This thing's pretty good. I mean, I got some OP settings on, but... For, for you know, for what it is, I guess it's... It's doing its job pretty fucking good. And you could put better tires on it. If you're in some really, really nasty areas, just put those those one tires on and god damn, you're good to go. Although they're not really good on asphalt, but everything else they're they're pretty good. But the configuration I got, not bad. It's not overly fast. But it's like a nice... like a nice decent speed. Like it's not too slow, but it's not like so fast that you're like feathering the throttle because you just can't control it. It's like nice and like right in the middle. No, this thing's really good. I like this. I like this truck. He's done some good stuff, and he's he's done another one. Let's see about the puddle here. Drop gear in the puddle at all? Nope, not even fucking close. Wow. This thing is... Alright with me, for sure. I've seen all I need to see. Well, that was the Edison Motors L750. I gotta say, not a bad build. 
like I said, I do like how he made it look like an old school cab instead of like some streamlined weird looking thing. It's it's actually really good. It's super powerful. It's got good tires. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. It's actually a pretty versatile. I like it a lot. It's a good truck. And if you want something that's just a little shorter, just go with the other truck. I do believe they make the same power. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. I'd imagine that it's just one axle chopped off. I'd imagine it'd be a little, you know, better going through the woods with three axles instead of four. You know, just to shorten the truck up just a little bit. But yeah, I really like this thing. Good job with this one. I had fun with it. Very interesting concept. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.